Hi everyone, by this time you must have already got an idea as to how many pages you will be having in your magazine and uh, you will be, you would want to start a, a new document where you would want to assemble all these pages together. Most of you might have already done your cover page in Photoshop or in Illustrator and I assume that you would be also uh, you know, working with a standard size of A4. Uh, some people might actually want to uh, work in smaller sizes because uh, they want the magazine to be in smaller size. What they could possibly do is that when you choose a new document in InDesign, uh, you can already specify the size. Uh, you can take a, take a scale and you can um, you know, take a size, a rough size or a clear cut size of what length and width you want your magazine to be. Uh, but there are a few things that you should know when you are actually going to open a new document is that uh, uh, when you open a new document, you don't actually have to give the number of pages. Uh, you can always specify it uh, and you can always increase the number of pages later and uh, if you are already have designed your back and and uh, and uh, front and you you want that to be as a different document altogether then you can actually start the page number or the page at 3 uh, and uh, this is the this is the size of a4 in uh, in millimeter you can either go for a portrait or a landscape but for magazine you'd obviously go for a portrait here Columns. Well, columns are something which you can change always in the middle of the magazine. Uh, you know, for a particular page, you might want to have four columns or two columns or three columns. So this also doesn't really matter. It is subject to change, but um, normally in a magazine, you'll always find at least two columns. So I'll go with two columns right now. Well, with margins, one thing that you should know very clearly is that margins are just guides. It is not that you cannot move an object beyond a margin. You can always margins are just for guides how much of margin do you want from your left from your top from your right from your bottom all that you can enter here now since you already work in millimeter it doesn't stop you from trying out any other sizes you can always try any other size um, I would go for 0.3 inches and that would uh, this chain is actually binding all of the units together there's another button called more options which hides the bleed and slug really don't know why they do that but um, bleed is very very important because in bleed you um, actually overstretch your overstretch your whole document size why because ever if you want to put an image which you want to make sure goes up till the edge and you don't put the image till bleed there's a good chance that your white edge will come which basically means at any point of time if you want to have an image stretched till the edge make sure you have enough bleed and the image is stretched outside the page document and it is going up to the bleed 5 mm of bleed make sure that you have at least 5 mm of bleed all across very important um, I would go for facing pages and I would go for 3 pages and let's see how it shows up well I have my new document and as you can see this line is actually the margin okay the margin is very less actually here we can increase the margin the bleed is okay enough this is a good enough bleed this much bleed you should normally have